today we're going to talk about uh, GitOps with um, GitHub Actions. Um, so the first slide I'm going to show is a workflow uh, diagram um, of what this uh, GitOps workflow looks like. Um, so just really briefly, we're going to talk about all these points, but we have a developer team. The developer team creates a new branch. Um, the branch has a pull request open from it. This pull request triggers a GitHub action. Um, that GitHub action uh, runs a service at AWS called CodeDeploy, which deploys the application code from GitHub to an Amazon EC2 instance. Um, so first, what is GitOps? Um, uh, so we can define GitOps as the practice of using Git pull requests to automate our infrastructure provisioning and application deployments. Um, so um, a lot of people know what DevOps is. Um, the term GitOps might be a little more vague, um, but really Dev GitOps is DevOps with, uh, use with using Git as the kind of source of truth um, for uh, application deployment from end to end. So. Um, we want to make sure that we're using um, infrastructure as code, um, but that we have an automation path for deploying that infrastructure. And we also want to make sure we have an automation path for deploying application code as well. So GitOps kind of bundles both of those things together. Um, why would we want to use GitOps? Um, kind of three points here. Um, tool familiarity is a big one. So a lot of dev teams um, are already using Git and GitHub. So it's nice if we can place our, um, our workflows and our automation, we can put it in the, we make the starting point, the tool that developers are already using. Um, so GitHub allows us to do that with GitHub Actions, which is something I showed in the, the first slide, um, but it's kind of a tool that facilitates um, our, our workflows. Um, so our automation essentially. Um, another thing of using GitOps, um, similar to, um, tool familiarity, um, but team-wide visibility. So the teams are already centered around using GitHub and Git in many cases. Um, so here um, we're using our workflow automation and we're allowing all of our team to kind of see that workflow automation. So rather than us having to share um, accounts, for example, to the different services where we're deploying our infrastructure to um, and, and where we have our um, our automation deployed to. Um, here we can kind of centralize that to give everybody associated with the Git project um, easier access to what that automation output looks like. Um, we can also deploy changes faster. So when we're onboarding somebody to a team, generally we have you know, a readme documentation that goes over how to set up a local environment, um, which is still important. You know, we still want to have local environments for, for various purposes, but to get somebody onboarded more quickly, um, we can, with, with GitOps, um, we can have workflows that deploy our infrastructure and our application code, and we can get new developers on the team deploying changes faster because now we have a central place to view these changes. And we also have a, a central um, environment that our changes are being pushed to, to view them in a central place as well. So um, it, it's, GitOps kind of helps us um, deploy everything faster and get, get everything moving a little quicker. Uh, so here's just an example of a GitHub action. Um, so uh, what is a GitHub action first? It's a CITC, CICD platform to test, build, and deploy code changes. So GitHub actions uses something called GitHub runners, which are essentially just many virtual machines that GitHub manages for us. Um, you have the option at GitHub to use a, something called a self-hosted runner. Um, which allows you to do um, things like more, more requests more frequently. Um, you can have larger virtual machines since you're managing these on your own. Um, but for our purposes um, and for my own purposes, um, generally the GitHub action, the GitHub runners that GitHub manages, github.com, um, they've been pretty, pretty sufficient. Um, so this is just kind of an example of what a GitHub action looks like. Um, and this is deployed into the uh, root of the application repo. So it's in the .github directory. Um, and you can see here um, that this GitHub action specifically runs on a pull request that is open, synced, uh, reopened, or closed um, for any branch that is in the, the GitHub repo. So, and you know, the stuff below it is just kind of examples on 
um, different jobs, basically steps that we run, um, task, I guess you could say, for when we trigger um, one of these uh, different types of uh, pull request events. Let's go to um, an example um, for website for beeswax. Um, keep in mind that you know this is uh, an example from a Rails application, but this idea can be applied to um, any any application, any 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 kind of a programming environment. Um, so uh, the first step, as I showed previously, is the developer will come in and they will open a a pull request, or they'll create a new branch for some updates they want to make to the code. So here I have a, a new branch. It's called um, Opacity Update Demo. Um, I've already pushed this branch to the um, GitHub repo. So the next step after I've pushed my update is I'm going to go and create a pull request so that the other developers on the team can see the changes that I've made. And this is a pretty general practice for developer teams. Um, so, you know, you can hit this button here, compare and pull request. Um, I've already done that. So I'm just going to go into the pull request directly. Um, here's the one that I made. Um, you know, it's got a title and a description. And so, so this is, this is all pretty normal. This should all be pretty, pretty um, relevant information. Now, the only thing different here is since we have our GitHub action um, installed in this repo, you'll see down here, there's a note from the action, you know, and we can see that the um, deployment for our code was pushed to a deployment group. This is some AWS nomenclature. Um, and then here's kind of the key part here is changes are available for review at, and here's the, the name of the um, host um, where we'll see our changes at. So this, this host is on a, a, a single EC2 instance, which is what we're using in this particular case to manage all the different environments for um, our development environment for beeswax.net. And um, if we just click the link, you know, it'll take us to a page and you can see here, you know, it's a very simple change. So it's just changing the um, opacity from one to 0 0.5. So we can compare that you know, here, if we just look at the actual main site and we can say, OK, yeah, this definitely looks a little bit different. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, GitOps definitely helps us in, in moving quicker and visualizing changes quicker, and kind of giving us a, a better team wide visibility um, for, for everybody involved in the project, you know, not even just developers, but even managers, project managers, um, people of, of, of that status. Um, wanting to get input or, or wanting to visualize, you know, maybe changes that are being made to the project. So um, all around, it's a pretty useful and helpful tool to have.